Welcome back. Uh, with us in the studio, uh, we're happy to welcome His Excellency <coughs> Ambassador Hazem Abu Shalab, leading member of Fatih Movement. A pleasure to have you with us. Thank you so much. Uh, before we, you join us, we were discussing Egyptian presence or heading the UN Security Council and efforts to confront the ideological discourse of uh, terrorist organizations. And maybe that uh, will lead us to, um, uh, we just uh, ended our discussion with who funds and what can actually be done about those who fund and nurture uh, and cooperate with terrorist organizations. And maybe one of the questions that I will be posing to you, how do you classify Hamas? Because um, after June 30th, maybe the um, Egyptian people, and I'm here, I'm speaking for the Egyptian people, since the governments cannot voice it this way, but the Egyptian people's definition or viewpoint regarding Hamas somewhat changed. Uh, maybe I'll ask um, you, how do you categorize uh, Hamas right now? Can we say it is um, the Palestinian faction that is fighting for liberation or what? Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. First, I'm very pleased that to be with you in the program and to be with His Excellency. This is a big honor. Thank so you. thank you so much, Mr. Ambassador. Thank you. Um, number two, uh, unfortunately for me and for yourself, that I'm an ambassador. So uh, I'm not allowed to <laughs> tell my personal uh, so, so, opinion. So, so you will, we'll have to read the, between the lines. So, <laughs> yes, please. So um, uh, in, the, the opinion is regarding the international law, which is there is, uh, there is uh, um, a resolution talking about uh, Hamas as a terrorist group and the Al-Aqsa uh, uh, murders, which is uh, uh, the, the armed uh, arm of Fatah also. also Ansar Bayt al-Maqdis. No, 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 no. No, not Ansar. No, 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 no. I'm talking about the uh, uh, factions which were very, um, uh, uh, very active during the uh, previous intifada in, the, uh, in Palestine. So, the, they were both uh, targeted as this, this nickname. Mm. But um, personally, I prefer to see them as they are uh, um, uh, movements of resistance, uh, resisting the Israeli occupation. So uh, I, my answer will be I, I want them to be a part of the resistance uh, movement of mm. Palestine. Uh, resisting the Israeli occupation and working inside Palestine only against the Israeli occupation. Hmm. Um, can I do a follow-up question? Please. Um, if they are working uh, uh, to resist Israeli occupation, uh, I believe Egypt has always played a strong role in uh, bridging the differences between Fatah and Hamas. I agree and in uh, trying even to pressurize Israel in adhering to uh, the endless resolutions. Mm -hmm. um, yet it's quite mind-boggling when you see Hamas's actions uh, as of late, within the past few years, directed not towards Israel, the occupier, but they're not working in the interests of Egypt, which is supposed to be the supporter in uh, their cause to liberate uh, Palestinian soil. I mean, if they allow, for example, for the constant development of tunnels mm -hmm. to smuggle uh, arms, uh, illegal weaponry into mm -hmm. Egypt, mm -hmm. uh, illegal weaponry which is being used against uh, not only the Egyptian civilians, but the Egyptian army, which at one time <coughs> stood to defend Palestinian soil. I agree. Um, can we still consider them resistance? I mean, it seems that they're resisting towards Egypt rather than their actual enemy, which is right on the other side. Let's talk about the vision of Fatah movement as it is a resistance group against the Israeli occupation. Mm. And how do we manage and see the others, how do, uh, do they work? We agree on the resisting of the occupiers, which are Israel. Mm -hmm. We don't agree uh, on any kind of action against any other party, whatever it was, especially when it is an action against the Egypt. Either they are the army or the, the normal people, which we um, love them too much. So we don't like even, we, do, we hate who uh, would do any kind of action against the Egyptians in, in all means. Um, 
So I believe that what's happening um, uh, in the courts, let's say, uh, uh, let it be in the court and let the judges, uh, the judges uh, give their sentences and let's see what will happen. But before the judgments, I would say that any kind of action, um, um, aggressive action against the Egyptian people, Egyptian lands, Egyptian army is regretted and denied by the Fatah and by all the Palestinian people, which we all um, have a great love uh, uh, towards Egypt, the Egyptians, the, the, the Egyptian history and the Egyptian future. Mm. Very diplomatic answer. No, it's, no, it's from the bottom of my heart. <laughs> yeah. To read between the lines. Mm. And maybe I'll get uh, His Excellency Ambassador uh, Nabil Badr to maybe get your point of view here because the reason I'm raising this question is because we really have to clearly identify who is a friend and who is not a friend and mm. who is a terrorist and who is not a terrorist. And uh, as of late, how can we qualify Hamas uh, who is not working in the interest of Egypt, and in my humble opinion, naive opinion, not even in the interest of the Palestinian question, which since Hamas started resisting, it seems that the question has been jeopardized rather than... Um... I think it's a very legitimate question, but let me tell the, the, the following, and with your permission. Please, please. Uh, now, I'll take fat. Yeah. Fat was declared 1965, correct? Yes. yes. And it started at that time, later on. It so happened I was in, one, in, in my first post, external post in Damascus. Mm -hmm. I was a junior diplomat there. Mm -hmm. But the late uh, President Arafat was a good friend of mine since he was here in Egypt. Mm -hmm. And we met accidentally himself with Khalil al-Wazir Abu Jihad, Mm. And he started, uh, we, we, we communicated quite quickly, and uh, he, he asked for uh, military help, which we extended. And he told me th something I'm saying for the sake of history, because, well, it happened with me. Yes. He told me, quote, unquote, I have 95 elements, persons, and they are armed with the guns Lee and Field. Lee and Field goes to the First World War. Yes, that's right. Cooperation started, and certainly in all my posting, I was very close to the Palestinian cause, which is a source of good, I, 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 personal pleasure to me. When I look it's to... It's for us. No, this is true. This is true. I had my, 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 my share, and I'm, I'm, I'm pleased with it. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. I'll come back to Hamas, your question. In all the history of national movements all around the world, and it's not an invention, when you have a national patriotic movement, it is an umbrella under which all factions work. Left, middle, right, whatever. Okay? But you cannot substitute. Why, why do you do that? All the national movements, not only in Palestine, in the whole world. Because you need to bring about all the forces you can recruit to service a certain target. In that case, that in the year 2016, the only people in the world that have not got self-determination up to this moment are the Palestinian people. It's a shame. So to come back to that and look at what, for instance, Hamas does, instead of helping in that process, no, they are dogmatic. <clears throat> they want a Khalifa. They want ta, ta ta Well, and absolutely, at the end, it boils down that some people gain uh, from, from that in lots of things not the real cause, which is Palestine. That's number one. Number two, in so doing, they have really sided apart all the national forces of Palestine. At that juncture, we talk about, and we were talking about the agenda of the United Nations, and that uh, Ambassador Shokri is there to speak about and highlight some of the causes. 
One of the central issues is Palestine. Right. Now, you have on the table, what do we have on the table? We have the ideas of the French, the idea of the French project. Netanyahu declared he <clears throat> is not wanted, understood, I'm not surprised. But does this mean that we should see the answer is no? We should keep on all our efforts to make the world not only understand, because the world already now understands probably better than before, much to a great extent, but at the same time to turn that into a power, into measures yes. that we might ask that can convince Israel that they cannot go on forever. Now, does Palestinian unity help or not? I mean, it does not re need the question. Yes, of course, yes. Does the way Hamas conducts itself help in that process? The answer is a very big no. How can we define and describe that in the light of efforts ongoing to the whole world to move ahead with the Palestinian coast? Now so that, it's, a, it's, a, it's a, Now that we are in the UN Security Council seat for this month, what can Egypt do to push forth the Palestinian question? <laughs> the question is mine. Yes, um, Egypt now is the head of the Security Council uh, for this month, so I believe that it is a very important opportunity that uh, uh, the, 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 the President of the Council can put the agenda for the next meeting. So I believe that Egypt would put Palestine issue, especially the it issue... Is on the... Yes, uh, and especially that's what I wanted to, to leak, mm. that 